I was paid $2,500 just for the completion of modules. Hey guys, it's the Bougie Nurse and welcome back to my channel. So as promised, this video is going to be all things strike nursing. What it is, what it entails, how to get started, agencies, pay, and all that good stuff. I'm all about getting to the bag and I want to put y'all on on how to get to the bag as well. First thing first, what is strike nursing? So nurses who go on strike are a part of a nurse's union. The union is a group of workers put in place to protect and advocate for its members. The healthcare facilities and the union has a contract in place that they agreed upon. The contract has stipulations that the facility has to abide by. Now, the contract is only good for a certain amount of time. It could be three years, it could be five years, sometimes longer. Once the contract expires, the union may decide they want to keep the same contract or they want to make changes to it. The reasons that nurses go on strike vary, but typically it has to do with nurses wanting an increase in pay, better working conditions, or better nurse-to-patient ratios. And other times, they are fighting just to keep what they already have. The hospital may be trying to take away their health insurance or decrease their PTO, and when the nurses decide to stop working and start protesting, they have to give the facility a 10-day notice they are planning to go on strike. And when that happens, the hospital now needs replacement nurses to come in and take over for the nurses who are striking. So what is a strike nurse? As a strike nurse, you have the responsibility of stepping in for the nurses who are stepping out with very little orientation. You have to be flexible and come in to a certain amount of days ahead of time. They need people who's going to come in, get the job done, and hit the ground running. You cannot be a new grad nurse on a strike nurse assignment. Let me repeat that. You cannot take a strike nurse assignment as a new grad. You have to have at least a year of hospital experience. And that is because these strike nurse assignments are high stress and chaotic environments. As a strike nurse, you will be crossing what is referred to as the picket line. And the picket line is where the nurses are standing outside with signs and megaphones striking for what they want. They are not happy when strike nurses come in because they feel as though you are taken away from what they're trying to accomplish. So you will get called all sorts of names. You will get called a scab. They will yell at you. They may even throw things at you, curse at you, all that and above, okay? So let's get into the safety aspect of strike nursing. While you are on a strike assignment, this is going to be the most important part of the video. If you forget everything else, remember this. Do not, do not, do not, okay? Do not post anything while you are on a strike assignment. Do not post a photo of your badge. Do not post the city and state the strike is happening at. Do not post where you're staying at. This is for your own safety. Go ghost. Don't post anything on social media. You're literally going to be working and sleeping anyway, so let's keep it at that. Just working and sleeping. While you are at the hospital, do not indulge into any political conversations. If it's only the nurses that are on strike, you will still have the core staff such as respiratory therapists and CNAs on the unit. Do not give your opinion about what is going on or state any comments about the strike. You are literally there to work and help out and that is it. People are going to ask you how much you are getting paid. Do not disclose that information. Literally say, I cannot disclose that information. People are going to ask, where are you staying at? Do not disclose that information because they may be fishing for that information to give back to their friends who are on strike. And if you disclose any of that information, you are setting yourself up to possibly get hurt. Literally have your scrub cap on, have your N95 on, where only thing people can see is your eyes. You see, I have braids. I'm not going to let anybody know that I have green braids down to my behind. 
I'm not going to let people see this on the unit because those are identifying factors. At some point, you will head to the grocery store just to get a few things to eat. You don't want people identifying you and where you work. Do not wear your scrubs outside the hospital. These are very, very important things for your own safety. The safety of the strike nurse is so important that even the agency you signed up with will not disclose any information about the hospital you'll be working at or where you'll be going till the very last minute. They are going to be booking your flight to and from the assignment. They are going to be booking your hotel for the duration of your assignment. And your hotel won't even be near the facility. It's going to be 30 to 45 minutes away, sometimes even further. And you also will be getting transported from your hotel to your hospital and back. And escorted into the hospital as well. So that's how important safety is during the strike nursing assignment. Strike nursing has its pros and cons. The main pro is that you can make a significant amount of money in a short period of time, all while your expenses are covered for. Your meals is covered. It flew out, all expenses is paid for flights, travel, everything. We're gonna do a real. If you are in a state that pays for bus time, you're getting paid while you're being transported to work. You're getting paid for orientation. You're you're getting paid for the completion of modules. I worked one assignment where I was paid $2,500 just for the completion of modules. Now, I've seen pay as low as $105 an hour, and I've seen pay as high as $185 an hour for these strike nursing assignments. And typically, you're working at least 48 to 60 hours a week, so you're always in overtime. So just imagine what overtime is like with those base pay. Now, like anything in life, it does have its cons. And the number one con with strike nursing is that it can be extremely unpredictable. It may or may not happen. So you can get a call from an agency that a hospital in New Jersey is going on strike June 1st. Okay, you submitted all your documents and you're ready to go come June 1st. June 1st comes around and the agency calls you back and say, hey, are you still interested? Because the strike is now pushed to June 10th. And you're like, yeah, I'm not working right now. Or you are working and you've called out from work or whatever the case may be. June 10th comes around and the agency calls you back and said, yeah. Or they won't even call you. They'll send you an email and let you know that the hospital and the union has settled and the strike is no longer happening. And now you wasted all that time waiting just for nothing. That has happened and it's very realistic. The only thing that's guaranteed with strikes is if you fly out. If you fly out and by the time you land, the hospital has settled, you will still get a guaranteed pay of 60 hours sometimes or whatever the guarantee pay is in your contract. You still will get that guarantee pay as well as a settlement fee. So that's the thing with strike nursing. It can be very unpredictable. Another con, as I previously mentioned, is safety. Many times with these strike nurse assignments, you are working alongside other strike nurses. So the environment is pretty positive. And sometimes there are nurses who are not striking who are still at the bedside and they're grateful that you have came in to help them out but I have heard cases where the nurses who are on strike have found out where the strike nurses hotel is and have gone there to terrorize them I have also heard of cases where staff nurses have hidden the strike nurses patient medications have tampered with the strike nurses drips whether it's increasing the rate or decreasing the rate to show that the strike nurse is incompetent in their role they will try to report you to the board of nursing and in turn trying to get you to lose your license so as lucrative as strike nursing can be there is a downside to it so be extremely aware of your surrounding and practice safely so how does one become a strike nurse the moment we've all been waiting for first you want to sign up with the agencies that recruit for strikes these agencies are going to be u.s nursing health source global and huff master 
These agencies also recruit for allied staff such as phlebotomists, CNAs, PT, RT, etc, etc. There are other travel nursing agencies that will pick up a strike contract from time to time, but the main ones are going to be the three that I mentioned in this video. A simple Google search of strike nursing assignment will show you a whole heap of agencies. So after creating your profile, you'll fill out your skills checklist, you'll update your work history, and once you're in the system, you'll start getting calls when a strike is about to happen. So you have to be extremely flexible. If you're a day shift nurse, you may be working night shift and vice versa. You won't know where you're going to the last minute and you're expected to fly within the next 48 to 72 hours. There are times where they give you an incentive to fly out earlier. It could be an extra thousand dollars to fly out on the 1st of June. In Let me help you. You came all the way downstairs. You want to hold this? Okay, push it. So my toddler is awake. I was trying to rush before she woke up, but it's fine. And she's laying right here on me. So let's get back to what we were talking about. So there are times when they may give you an incentive to fly out earlier. You can get an extra thousand dollars to fly out on the 1st of June instead of the 3rd of June. And you're at the mercy of the agency because they are paying for all your expenses. So don't expect to be on the airline of your choice or the hotel of your choice. So strikes don't happen often and when they do happen, they only last a few days. Um, there was a strike last year in Massachusetts that lasted for 10 months, which is rare. Many healthcare facilities contracts are expiring this year, 2022. So there are lots of hospitals going on strike this summer because nurses are fed up as they should be. So be sure to sign up for those strike nursing contracts if this is something that interests you. So that pretty much concludes the video. If you are a fellow strike nurse and I missed anything, comment it down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!